I'm Ros Atkins, welcome to Outside Source. President Trump is continuing his state visit to the UK. He's been praising the extraordinary US-UK alliance and is promising a phenomenal trade deal once Brexit is done. But he couldn't resist uh, commenting on how Brexit's been handled. I would have sued and settled, maybe, but you never know. She's probably a better negotiator than I am. He also said reports of protests against him were fake news, but in fact there were thousands of people on the streets demonstrating against his visit. We'll be live with Christian Fraser in a minute. We'll also have the latest from Sudan, where the military scrapped agreements with the opposition and is making arrests across Khartoum. So day two of President Trump's state visit to the UK, and if yesterday was all about the ceremony, today has been more about the policy. The first thing on the agenda was business. Here's Donald Trump at a breakfast with Prime Minister Theresa May and a range of British business leaders. He told them he expected there would be a very substantial trade deal after Brexit. After that, there were handshakes all round in Downing Street as the Trumps were greeted by the Mays. Well, the BBC's Christian Fraser has been covering Mr. Trump's visit all the way through. And next on Outside Source, we can join him. Christian's just finished Beyond 100 Days with Cathy Kay. And he's joining us live from Buckingham Palace. Hello and welcome. President Trump has spent the day with Theresa May on the second day of his state visit to the UK. In a news conference with the Prime Minister today, he said the US and the UK have the greatest alliance the world has ever known. This afternoon, President Trump stated his belief that Brexit would be good for the country and he said the Prime Minister deserved a lot of credit. He promised a phenomenal trade deal after the UK leaves the European Union and he said that everything was on the table as part of any deal between the countries and that included the NHS. He said that he had turned down a meeting from Jeremy Corbyn, a request that he'd had from Jeremy Corbyn, and he described him as somewhat of a negative force. And he then went on to speak about NATO. He said those allies must contribute more to the transatlantic alliance and in response the Prime Minister said the two countries now have a great relationship on which to build. Mr Trump had glowing words for the Queen who he said was a fantastic person and a fantastic woman. Here is the President in the company of the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall and the First Lady, of course. This is outside Winfield House. It's the beginning of the return dinner this evening, hosted by the President. We don't yet have eyes on a guest list, but as we look at these pictures, I can tell you that in the downtime that President Trump has enjoyed over the last two hours, he has met with a number of people from the political scene. Nigel Farage, of course, who he counts as a friend, has uh, spent a good time with the President this afternoon. He's also spoken to Owen Paterson and Ian Duncan Smith, the Conservative MPs, of course, who are on the Brexit side of uh, the debate. And we understand he has held a meeting with Michael Gove, the Environment Secretary, who he said earlier today he didn't know, but of course he had met uh, some time ago when Michael Gove interviewed him in the Oval Office. So they're the scene at Winfield House. We'll keep our eye on uh, events there at the US Ambassador's residence and we'll go and talk to Lorna Gordon very shortly. But for a, a look back on the day's events and how it's all unfolded, here's our political editor, Laura Coonsberg.